And I hope I am still in three years. I hope what remains the same is still like my enthusiasm for teaching. Um, I think, uh, you know, when I started teaching, the word like my biggest fear was that you know when I become a middle-aged man that I, I become a burnout or uh, I become like some of the some of the burnout teachers that I had in high school and just lose all enthusiasm. So I'm I'm pretty happy that. But the midpoint of my career, I, I still love my job and I still enjoy waking up in the morning to, to show up to work. And I, I, I just hope even three years from now, uh, that level of enthusiasm is still the same. So behind you, you have all of these pictures of your yeah. classes. So my room is basically like, I guess the history of Jungju. Uh, so in my room, I got like a lot of magazine covers and a lot of random postcards, flyers from concerts that I've been to. But it's basically, I guess it's like my history from ever since I was in high school. Uh, and I don't know, I just, uh, I like to create a space where I think people feel kind of comfortable. And I think I'm gonna make my students feel comfortable. I need to feel comfortable in my room. So I, I really don't like sitting in like just empty white rooms. But uh, um, but especially yeah, the 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 class photos. It's just yeah, basically the history of you know Jews chemistry class. And I think um, it's really cool when like students come back and visit. Uh, that's usually the first place they'll go. They'll go to one of these. You know, look for where they are in my previous class and like, oh, kind of, I don't know, reminisce about the class. And uh, um, all right, it's really cool. Yeah, like it, it almost feels like an extension of my home uh, being here with all this stuff.